Hello everyone and today I'm happy to show off Road Creator Light, an easy way to create roads with automatic and dynamic widths and intersections. I'll first show how to create the effect manually using the modifier panel and then demo the quick and easy script which is available free right now. Let's get into it. And this is what I'm going to be starting off with. I'm simply using the spline tool using lines to represent roads. I'm working in one unit equals one meter and what I will create first is a rectangle and I'm going to make it five meters by ten meters. And I will add an editable spline modifier on top of that. We're going to go into segment mode and select all of the segments and make sure that they are set to ID1. Now we'll select the bottom three segments and make sure they're at ID2. We can select our road and put a sweep modifier on top of that. We're going to be using a custom section as an instance. And under the sweep parameters, we're going to check that our alignment is correct and we're going to use union intersections. Now union intersections is key to this method. I'm also generating material IDs and using section IDs for the sweep modifier. On top of that I'm going to use the smooth modifier. Auto smooth is fine at the default amount. We'll add a volume select. I'm going to choose face mode. We're using the replace method and I'm choosing smooth group 1. So you'll see the top and the bottom faces are all selected. The next volume select I'm going to add to the stack is also in face mode. But in this case what we're going to be doing is subtracting material ID 2. And that leaves the top face so we're going to invert that and now everything is selected that we want to delete because we just want the road on top. We'll add the delete mesh modifier and now we're going to work on our chamfers. We're going to add a 5 meter chamfer and we're going to apply that to all vertices. I've turned on some smoothing here and we've added another chamfer on top. Now this chamfer is going to be half the amount of the one that we just put down, so that's two and a half meters. Everything else is the same. All vertices, turn on those smooths. All right, and that's it. If you choose that original rectangle and you change the width, you'll see the width of your road changes. And if you go down to the base object of the road spline, enable your show end result, and you'll be able to modify the shape underneath and everything will update towards the top, including the chamfer and the intersections. As you can see, it's quite a flexible method. That was the manual way of achieving this. Let's have a look at the script I've created, Road Creator Light. So we'll run the script, select the road, choose make road. One step that is required is to select the material shape, select all the segments, deselect them and then you can copy that modifier onto the road profile shape and then the system's ready. There is easy access to the road width and the road fillet. Also an edit road switch, now you can edit your vertices, edit your lines and fillets, and when you're satisfied, simply exit the edit road switch. One more thing you can do is extract a shape, and then you'll have a clean shape ready to be swept, meshed, or extruded. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of a quick deep dive here to show off some automation that can happen a little bit further down the line. What I've written is a system to spawn verges, curbs and footpaths. I also use an MCG to create road markings. Street trees are able to be imported and swept along the road edge. And traffic trails are automatically created also. 
And that is it. You'll find a link to our download as well as instructions in the video description. And please, if you make any interesting creations with this, I'd love to see them. I've had people show me some surprising results using the power tool, and it's really encouraging seeing people use a tool that I created. Thanks everyone.